it was confirmed by Kevin Feige himself that the Doctor Strange 2 movie actually is happening and is confirmed now for phase four. So what exactly can we expect from this movie and exactly which villains would be perfect for the movie. How's it going Webheads? My name is Ryan Walsh and welcome to Webhead where I help you guys keep up to date with all the latest in geek entertainment. Today we're going to be geeking out about the Doctor Strange 2 movie and what should actually happen in this movie and exactly which five villains would be perfect for the actual movie and who should actually be the main villain of the entire movie. Now starting off exactly what should actually happen in the Doctor Strange 2 movie is that they really need to tie up those storylines that they left off with with the first movie. There was a lot of time that passed between the first movie and probably what we're going to be getting for the second one. The second one is supposed to be coming out in phase four and it's not going to be until years from now. So it's going to be even years after say Avengers Infinity War and Avengers 4. So if it's going to be years from that, we need to not only know about the storylines coming off of Avengers 4 and Infinity War, but also the ones from the first Doctor Strange movie. As many of us know when we saw the movie, the ending really ended where Baron Mordo is going around and taking out all of the sorcerers, trying to take away their abilities. So he's going to be trying to do that with a bunch of sorcerers around the world. He's going to be trying to do it with Wong and Doctor Strange as well. And now that Doctor Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme, I want to know exactly how the heck did Doctor Strange actually get from being just an amateur like he was at the end of the Doctor Strange movie to the Sorcerer Supreme. How did he become so powerful? I feel like there was a gap in between Infinity War and Doctor Strange where we just need to learn a little bit more about that. Maybe they could do a prequel to Infinity War, but I personally hope that it is going forward and actually it's just going more into depth about those storylines that we ended up with at the end of Doctor Strange. And also, what happened with Dormammu? I want to know more about Dormammu because the only thing really keeping him within the Dark Dimension was an Infinity Stone, so could we actually see more of Dormammu? I just want a little bit more of exactly what happened at that end of Doctor Strange movie instead of just kind of writing it off. Marvel probably won't write it off. They probably have future plans for all of those villains and explaining how Doctor Strange is so powerful now. They probably have a lot of plans for that, so that's just something I really want to see. Also, I think this movie could definitely make a lot of mistakes, kind of like how Thor The Dark World did, where they kind of kept it on Earth. I don't really want this movie to be on Earth. I want them to go to different dimensions. I want them to show us different mystical creatures, maybe like Eternity or maybe the Living Tribunal. I want to see weird creatures from the comic books actually come into this Doctor Strange 2 movie and I want to see a lot more superhero team ups in this as well. Maybe they could bring in Scarlet Witch. Maybe there's actually a lack of sorcerers within this entire MCU now since Bear Mordo is trying to take them all out and also Kaecilius from the last movie took out a lot of them as well. I think that we actually need to actually see say Scarlet Witch come into this movie and maybe Doctor Strange and Wong actually can help her out maybe help her hone her powers a little bit more and help her actually become maybe the next Sorcerer Supreme down the line or maybe just become more powerful with their powers. I think that that team up definitely needs to happen within the movie and I think that's something that we really want to see. I mean, I really want to see a Scarlet Witch movie, but at the same time, bringing her into more MCU movies is exactly what the character needs. But not really moving into the top five villains that I think would just be perfect for the Doctor Strange movie. Obviously, the last villain, Kaecilius, wasn't that great of a villain. You can definitely argue that Dormammu was a little bit of a villain since he was influencing Kaecilius and all of his zealots. So I think that actually Dormammu definitely was the better villain in that movie, but at the same time, Kaecilius was really the main villain. So let's start off with number five. And number five, I have Doctor Doom. Now the reason I have Doctor Doom in this spot, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, he's actually a Fantastic Four villain. Why would he be in a Doctor Strange movie? Well, one, he actually, and a lot of people forget this, Doctor Doom actually has a lot of sorcery abilities. That's how he actually gets most of his abilities in the comic books. That's how he actually gets most of his power and why he's so powerful. But also he kind of infuses technology and sorcery into one and he's a super genius so it kind of helps out there too. And that really just shows you that we actually probably need something like that within the MCU. And I think by the time the sequel to Doctor Strange comes out, I think we're already going to be past that Disney and Fox deal since it's already basically being done right now. I think we're already going to be past that and we're going to be introducing these characters. And I think he doesn't even need to be a main villain in the movie per se. I think he actually could be a really cool side villain. Say he was just kind of like on the side or something like that. This is really just to introduce him and actually bring up his origin, showing him that he actually has 
a bunch of sorcerer abilities and he is a sorcerer and then making him the main villain of the next Fantastic Four movie. I think this would be a great way to actually introduce Doctor Doom into the universe and then kind of put him forth into the MCU as one of the main antagonists. At number four, I have Mephisto. Now Mephisto needs to be done right. I mean, the last time we actually got Mephisto within any movie was the first Ghost Rider movie and he was done so poorly there. And I personally really want to see a Mephisto done on screen the right way and I think Marvel definitely can do that. I think it'd be really cool to see the actual devil on screen and I think he actually would be really cool introducing Ghost Rider into the MCU. We haven't really gotten Ghost Rider in an MCU movie. I think he should definitely get another chance at a movie, a single movie and I think the way to do that is once again kind of like Doctor Doom introduce him through a Doctor Strange movie because Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider have a lot of similar villains like Mephisto and I think that it would be really cool if you introduced those two characters maybe had a team up between them and then you could just say hey Ghost Rider's in this universe as well and then maybe we can get a Ghost Rider movie down the line. And I think Mephisto just poses a very real threat to Doctor Strange and actually being able to defeat Doctor Strange. So I think if we actually saw a battle between Doctor Strange and Mephisto, it'd be amazing to see on screen. At number three, I have Nightmare. And Nightmare was actually going to be the main villain of the first Doctor Strange movie. That was confirmed. And I think that he actually definitely deserves his on-screen appearance. He's been a main villain of Doctor Strange since 1963. He's been around for a very long time. And I think actually he just just has a really cool power where he can actually go into people's dreams, basically take their astral form, bring them to his dimension, and then torture them. I think that's actually a really cool power where you could actually play with that dream sequence and you could definitely do something really cool within the Doctor Strange 2 movie with that villain. I think he offers definitely a different take on a villain and definitely a different way of actually doing a movie on a superhero. And Marvel's always open to doing different things with these superheroes, so I think that'd be really cool to see on screen. And number two is Baron Mordo. Of course, like I said before, he definitely was a huge part of that first Doctor Strange movie, and there's a lot of ties at the end of the first movie that we really need to see throughout the Doctor Strange 2 movie, and I think Baron Mordo should be the main villain of the Doctor Strange 2 movie. He definitely is my top pick for it. I think he is the best choice because he's always been the arch enemy other than Dormammu within the Doctor Strange universe. And I think that he definitely is going to be just as powerful as Doctor Strange and they need to just go toe to toe together. And they definitely were just setting that up from the last movie. They put such a high caliber actor in that role that it's just kind of obvious that they're really setting up for Baron Mordo to be an even bigger villain within the future of the MCU. And number one, I have Dormammu. Now, Normamu is not my number one choice for this entire thing, but I think he does need to be done. Now, really, I just think he needs to be done within a Doctor Strange movie down the line. He probably needs to be the Doctor Strange 3 villain if we get a trilogy, like they're always doing with every single MCU movie, so I'm thinking we're going to get a trilogy out of this. And I think if we get a trilogy, we need to see Dormammu as the last villain, but definitely seated in the second one as well. He definitely could be the villain of the second movie. I'm definitely not putting that off because the only thing holding him back from Earth was actually the Time Stone. And now that Infinity War happened, it looks like Doctor Strange doesn't have the Time Stone anymore. And all the Infinity Stones after Avengers 4 probably are going to get destroyed. So I think Dormammu definitely is going to be coming back because he still wants Earth. He still wants to consume Earth. And he doesn't really care about Doctor Strange if he doesn't have an Infinity Stone stone on him. He's no longer a threat because he just can't take on Dormammu alone. But of course, Webheads, if you guys want more on the MCU, definitely consider checking out the playlist below me I put together for all of you guys. Definitely consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification so you guys get plenty more of my Marvel videos. I have plenty of Marvel posting within the next couple months because there's just so much that's happening over there. But Webheads, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.